it's going to be yours. Today has been a celebration of honor on the field. Again, it takes a service of our people to also make the society your own. I would ask that you elevate today for Patrick McPhail or Master Patrick McPhail in the order of the Pelicans. Their Majesties call forward those mistresses and masters of the Pelicans. <laughs>
Patrick has demonstrated mastery of his craft and excellence in countless others, while also encouraging others to seek the best in themselves. Patrick is a thorough teacher who has dedicated countless hours in service to the arts and sciences communities of several kingdoms. On more than one occasion has this fine gentleman ferried wagons of young gentles to view and to participate in faraway competitions and classes. When I try to see the utmost pinnacle of service to the arts and sciences, so that I myself might hope to achieve them, I find Patrick already there, offering advice and a helping hand. Master Patrick is worthy of the highest possible acclaim and has my undying respect. This man is my peer. Sworn before Crown Kingdom, Aaron Fahu, Baron Swift Owner of the Stone Key, Order of Laurel, Order of Pelican, and Al, Seneschal of the Middle Kingdom. And I, Dame Elise Catherine, Your Majesty's Laurel and Pelican, attest to his qualities as a laurel. He received his laurel for his woodworking from things as small as a spoon to as large as furniture of all types and crossbows used in the service of the Middle Kingdom. He gives away or sells many of his products, and I don't have any example here to show how good he does. However, he is also well known as a cook, and having known him as a cook since before I became a laurel, I bring myself to attest to his skills. <laughs> Or hindrance 
going through the city is not something that he does as part of what he is. Is there a member of the chivalry who attests the indoor chivalry? <laughs> Indeed there is. <laughs> courtesy and honor and joviality. And Ian Gordon is one of the most jovial people I've ever met. In fact, well, this is said of a later man, there's been a man he didn't like, or a lady for that matter. Uh, everyone he's ever met has been a friend to Ian Gordon. So I'm going to do you all a favor. I'm going to introduce you to Master Ian Gordon. Ian Gordon, this is everybody. Everybody, this is Ian Gordon. You are now all friends.
be worthy of the title of Pelican. Thus swear I, Ian Gordon, for an This do we hear, and, and shall never forget, forget nor fail to the war that is given. Fealty with love, service with honor, and oath breaking with vengeance. <laughs> Nor by their symbols of rank or station. 
Peers' worth is in their kindness to strangers, their love for friends and kingdom, their willingness to place their desires below the needs of others. A peer's worth is in their gentle aspect and their sincerity. Rebecca is all this and more. When my household grows up, they want to be backyard. <laughs> Member of the chivalry to attest to Rebecca's chivalry. I, Baroness Romrod, will attest to her chivalry. When she asked me to speak for her, I was speechless. You know me. I can only thing I can say is Rebecca is synonymous with chivalry. Uh, to speak on her chivalry. I don't feel qualified. If I had one one hundredth of her chivalry, I would be a saint. If I had one thousandth, I would be the best of our world. She inspires through her smile, her actions, her demeanor, her carriage. I know no one greater in that respect than her. And I'm just honored to be here today for her. That's all I have. Nice to cry. Is there a master or mistress of the world to attest to Rebecca's knowledge and support of the arts and sciences?
Rochelle Du Marcellus. Anyone, 
can make them feel welcome within our society or within the society that we walk in our daily lives. And I can think of no greater courtesy than that of making one feel welcome. Um, a long time ago in a kingdom far, far away, 
I happen to be sitting, yeah, well, another story. <laughs> it was down south some in Meridiers, and this very eager gentleman bounced up with a stack full of books like this and started talking to me about Russian costuming. Okay? You would think that is a laurel thing. No, he went and grabbed as many people as he could that expressed any slight interest in Russian costuming and proceeded to encourage them in how to go about dressing themselves appropriately even if they had no slight interest prior to more dogs. <laughs>
sweet Arabelle, queen of love and beauty, and Pearl Walter, king by right of arms of the middle kingdom, unto all to whom these letters come give us greetings. Know ye that we, in consideration of the singular excerpt and expertise in the arts of costuming and the generosity of spirit with which both of them have shared with us.